Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I would import a Word document into the Ultimate eBook Creator. Now, I do have an option here. So if you go to File, there is an option called Input MS Word Document. Now, I do, I've added this feature, but I really don't recommend that you use it to get really high quality uh, lean and mean, uh, you know, like uh, an ebook which is really small and it generates some really um, clean uh, XML code. This probably wouldn't be the best way to go. Having said that, if you've got a huge book and you really don't want to spend the time doing it the hard way or the manual way then you can always use this feature and then we'll go through this feature um, later on okay but this is the way I would do it to create some really like a really clean book okay so I wouldn't use this feature what I would do is I would do this from scratch so um, over here I have a word document now just as a disclaimer um, I've taken I've just made this sample document up and the recipe I actually took from Canadian Living okay so I don't recommend see here Canadian Living magazine this is only for demonstration purposes okay so I've just taken a couple of recipes so I can show you in this video how to do that okay so here is the technique what you wanna do is you wanna basically convert you wanna you wanna transfer this um, document into my ultimate ebook creator so the way you do it is you would actually copy this into um, notepad so I'm just gonna bring up notepad and the reason you want to do that is because MS Word um, if you just copy and paste this right into the ultimate ebook creator you're actually copying hidden junky formatting characters that don't render very well when you actually render the uh, the final book and to be technical what happens is when you copy and paste from one to another um, internally this MS Word actually holds the data in what they call rich text format and the ultimate ebook creators um, uh, editor is also a rich text format editor so it basically gets converted but it actually leaves behind a lot of artifacts and these artifacts are hidden junky characters that make the formatting afterwards very very difficult so what we, what I find is that some people just basically copy from here paste it into ultimate ebook creator and then when they try to format they can't format because the formatting doesn't work and they email me and say hey Nitin your program doesn't work please help me so I'm showing you how to do it the way I would do it okay so first of all what you wanna do is you wanna create um, so let me just go here I've created a brand new book and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a chapter called oatmeal uh, chocolate chip cookies so all I do is I basically highlight copy right then I put this into notepad so I paste it into the notepad and what this does is it actually removes all the junk code and leaves pure ASCII this is clean clean code so now that I've pasted in it in here I basically highlight right click cut okay and then I go here and I in here I'm gonna create a chapter okay and I'm going to right click and then I'm gonna say paste okay so I've pasted the title and I click OK alright so now that I have my title now for the content so now I go back to my word um, word document uh, so now here I have an image okay so all you need to do is basically right click the image select copy now obviously for this one you don't need to put that into uh, the notepad or else you won't get anything okay so here I'm just gonna come back here right click 
edit and I'm going to select paste so there you go so here is the image now if this image is too big please don't do this okay don't just drag this like this and make it small okay this really reduces the quality and it's not a good way of doing this okay what you want to do is if the image is too big I would suggest that you actually save it on your desktop bring it into Photoshop or GIMP and resize it accordingly okay and I do have a video on that how to basically resize images the correct way so you want to go see that but do please don't don't do this okay because you're just gonna make the quality look really bad okay so I'm gonna delete this again right click and then I'm gonna say paste okay so now that I have that okay let me just resize it because it looks way too big right so just for demo purposes I'm going to resize this okay I'm just gonna resize this okay but like I said you don't do this okay alright move on to the next thing okay so back to word and now we're gonna put in this text so first of all I'm gonna highlight this right click copy then I'm gonna bring up my notepad right click on the notepad I'm gonna say paste then I'm gonna highlight this right click and cut and now I'm just going to right click in this area edit and then paste okay so now it's nicely pasted now once again do not worry about the formatting just yet okay let's get all the data in here or the content and then we'll worry about the formatting okay now this is one is interesting right so we wanna basically highlight let's just go ahead and highlight all this right so here's one recipe I'm gonna copy and I'm going to paste it in here then I'm going to go form edit select all right click cut and I'm gonna just go here and I'm gonna say paste okay so there's a big gap here and things like that okay so once I've done this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get rid of a lot of the stuff that I can right so first of all I'm gonna remove this okay now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna use my um, format tidy um, uh, option let me just go here so I can oops okay and I'm gonna say edit format tidy and then I'm gonna say replace double spaces with single space okay so it does that throughout the thing and I'm going to again I'm gonna go replace all tabs with spaces and it's gonna ask me how many spaces and I'm gonna just say one okay so this is the way I remove the tabs and the thing and the reason for that is that you know if you keep your document really really simple and don't use all these fancy characters and tabs and bullets in the end you'll be able to control um, the formatting a lot better okay so now that I've cleaned this what you need to do is now we just go here and I want to basically make this bold so it stands out and I might even you know increase the size of the uh, font to maybe 14 right now here a lot of people what they do is they are going to tell me that look there's still a space here what do I do okay so in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm going to okay now here what you can do now is highlight this and then go to the bullets and then click on the bullets so now it creates this bullet alright so you can do that and the same thing here we're gonna use the same font as this which is 14 Arial so we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna say bold 14 Arial perfect okay done okay so that is one recipe done now let's do the second one so this is nicely prepared and um, what I'm gonna do is you know right now this is 
this is a paragraph so I'm going to just put a space in between that and and remember you don't really need to justify um, this text because if you're targeting any of the devices um, the device will justify this automatically okay and I do have a justification I've just added it in I just need to create an icon so um, I think by the time you guys look at this video um, I've already added the justification but honestly you don't really need it okay so once you've done that make sure you keep saving all the time and we'll move on to the next recipe which is the great granola recipe bar so I'm gonna do this again okay and then I'm gonna cut I'm going a little bit faster this time because I just wanna kind of show you how this is done and I'm hoping that this is gonna be very useful to you okay so image once again I'm gonna copy this Gonna come up here, control V to paste it. And now let me just make this smaller because it's way too big. And once again, obviously you'll do this outside the tool. Do not do it inside because it's not gonna look nice. Okay, so take this. I'm gonna take all of this actually. So I'm gonna take all of this and I'm going to now paste it into word okay and see see over here look at this see all these spaces and things like that don't worry about that just control A to uh, highlight all cut and in here we're just gonna go control V or you can say edit and paste and look at all this see all this stuff is coming through and the formatting isn't that great etc etc so do not worry once again what I would do is I would edit format tidy remove all tabs edit format tidy replace all tabs with spaces one um, actually I removed all the tabs there won't be any tabs in there <laughs> okay replace double spaces with single space yep I'll do it over here so you can see replace double space with single space okay alright so this it kind of gets it nice and prepared and um, and now once again what you can do is we start making it look nicer so I'll put a space there I'll make this bold and um, 14 um, over here I'm going to do the same thing here I'm gonna make this 14 and, and and then I'm going to put a space down there. Now over here, as you can see, look, there's a space here, right? See if you can see this one space, right? This is not good. This one space is not good. So simply just hit the back, hit the back like that, and get rid of it. And trust me, if you did this by just copying and pasting um, from Word right in here, that would not be possible okay so you just you know I'm just trying to show you the way I would do it until but it will still bake okay I think there might be a period there like this here's another space get rid of the space and that looks pretty decent now over here if you don't want to add the bullets that's fine okay but if you want to add the bullets you can simply uh, highlight boom and here's your bullets so those look fairly decent honestly if it was me I just put um, I, what I would do is I would just basically um, I would just even do a, 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 a simple thing like this and this would render really nicely too right so just keep it simple that's all I'm saying is that you know if you keep things simple and you don't over complicate your book in the end it's gonna look really nice and and it's gonna work so there you go this was a fairly long video at 15 minutes but I hope you found it useful so we'll see you in the next video